Oh, it looks large, but I'm gonna give you an anecdote as to why I love this book so much. The idea that racing is really just a matter of trying to cheat within the rules because everyone wants to be the fastest and sometimes it takes that little bit extra. So in the Trans Am series that they were running at the time, they had developed a really good suspension, which I believe was on a Trans Am Camaro. That's not the point. What happened was is they didn't want the other team seeing it. So they, you know, put a cover over the rear windshield so no one could look into the car while it was in the pits or, you know, not racing. What ended up happening was is they put buttons to snap on this cover easily and quickly and it would stay on. But what they found out was the buttons on the tail part of the uh, roof ended up creating vortices that generated more downforce on the rear wing. So they kind of slid that under, got more downforce without having to modify the body that was not in the rules. So that was a neat little find. A lot of cool anecdotes like that. And I love that when it comes to engineering and racing, there's a lot of good stories like that. It gives you a bit of genius into the background of how it works, what they do, how they write, but all the all the inner workings of the show. Similar to how like Ben Collins was about the Stig, this is more so about the show in general. And it was during an era where it seemed like money flowed endlessly and all the ideas were new.